The GECF Annual Short-Term Gas Market Report 2022 is the third edition of this flagship publication. The report provides an analysis of 2021 and current state of the gas industry in the first half of 2022, as well as short-term forecasts for the full year 2022 and 2023. The global economy rebounded by 6% in 2021, driven by easing of COVID-19 restrictions, expansion of fiscal and monetary policies, and a recovery in international trade. However, global economic growth is estimated to slow to 3.2% in 2022 due to escalating geopolitical tensions, supply chain disruptions, China's zero COVID policy, high energy and commodity prices, rising inflation, and tightening financial conditions. In 2023, global economic growth is expected to slow further to around 2.7%, driven by soaring prices and rising inflation. Meanwhile, global inflation is expected to rise by 8.8% in 2022, after which it eases to around 6.5% in 2023. There has been significant underinvestment in the oil and gas industry since 2014, which has contributed to the gas supply concerns and high prices. Global oil and gas investment in 2021 increased by 17% to around $673 billion and is expected to further increase by 7% in 2022 to around $718 billion. This favourable investment climate has been driven by energy security concerns, extremely high spot prices and growing gas demand. However, there are some risks to the investment including rising inflation as well as more investment into low-carbon energies by energy companies. Global gas consumption expanded by 4.5% in 2021 to above the pre-pandemic level. This was supported by recovery in economic growth and industrial activity, as well as abnormal weather conditions. In 2022, global gas consumption is forecasted to rise by up to 1%, driven by the stronger gas burn in the US and colder gas switching in China's residential sector which could offset a decline in Europe. Further, in 2023, consumption's forecasted to increase by up to 1.5%, driven by China, South and Southeast Asia, and the Middle East. Coal and oil switching to gas, infrastructure development, and higher industrial activity will boost gas consumption. Global natural gas production rose by 4% in 2021 due to the recovery in gas demand, rebound in associated gas production, and the commissioning of new gas fields. At a country level, the increase came mainly from Russia, Algeria, the US and China. For 2022 and 2023, global gas production is forecasted to increase by 1% and 1.5% respectively, driven mainly by stronger production from North America, Asia and the Middle East. The global gas rig count continues to recover in 2022, which is expected to support the higher gas production. However, increasing costs and geopolitical tensions are downside risks. Underground natural gas storage in the EU in 2021 was greatly influenced by the high gas prices at the time. As a consequence, replenishment of gas stocks was muted and the storage levels during the second half of 2021 were the lowest observed in the previous five years. In 2022, the gas crisis in the region forced policymakers to impose gas storage filling regulations these measures ensured that despite gas prices in the region reaching record highs, underground storage sites across the continent were filled to at least 80% in preparation for the upcoming winter. Global net pipeline gas trade increased by 8% in 2021 to reach 568 BCM. The overall increase was supported by the recovery in global gas consumption. This rise in pipeline imports was driven largely by the European region which accounted for 61% of the global market share. Meanwhile, GECF member countries together accounted for 75% of global net pipeline gas exports in 2021. In 2022 and going forward, it's anticipated that global pipeline gas trade will decrease as the EU reduces its reliance on Russian pipeline gas. This has already been observed in the first half of 2022. In 2021, global LNG imports expanded by 6% to 378 million tonnes, driven by stronger gas demand in China, Brazil and South Korea. Since quarter 4 2021, there's been a shift in LNG flows away from Asia to Europe, 
due to tight spot LNG price spreads between both markets. In 2022 and 2023, global LNG exports are forecasted to expand by 4-5% and 6-7% respectively, driven by higher LNG exports from GECF and non-GECF countries. The stronger LNG exports is supported by the startup of new liquefaction projects, improvements in feed gas availability, and lower maintenance. In 2021, 52 million tonnes per annum of LNG liquefaction capacity reached FID, up from a record low in 2020, with Qatar accounting for more than 60%. This recovery was driven by the rebound in global gas and LNG prices, as well as strong LNG contracting for new projects. From January to September 2022, 30 million tonnes per annum of liquefaction capacity reached FID, mainly from the US. This was supported by high prices and strong LNG contracting. Between October 2022 and December 2023, around 156 million tonnes per annum of new liquefaction capacity is targeting FID, mostly in the US. Gas and LNG spot prices in 2021 were characterised by historic highs, with TTF hub and Asian LNG prices skyrocketing. This was driven by extreme weather, strong global economic recovery and higher gas demand, while constraints at several LNG facilities invoked limits on the supply side. In the first half of 2022, spot prices continued to surge, driven by escalating geopolitical tensions, tight LNG market, higher gas demand, low EU gas storage and gas supply concerns. Furthermore, spot prices have recorded extreme volatility, with TTF reaching an all-time high above $96 per MMBTU in August 2022. Meanwhile, oil-indexed LNG prices have maintained a significant discount to spot prices since the second half of 2021. Despite the current challenges facing the gas industry, gas has a major role to play in the global energy transition to a low-carbon future and for sustainable development. To access the full public version of the GECF Annual Short-Term Gas Market Report 2022, you can visit the GECF website at www.gecf.org or scan the QR code.